somebody's name engraved. Dino. You know That's Dino? Me. That's you. That was mine in Vietnam. Was it? Are you it, sure you want to get rid of this stuff? Yeah. It's haunting me too much. None of these are local teams or even at least like Green Bay Packer next door. Yeah. That Stuff no, that I, I can move fast. So it's totally your call, man. Whatever you want to do. Hey guys, Pete over here. Something's loose, definitely in there. This is from Ricky and Phil, from all the way from California. Let's see what it is. It's a postcard, made out of wood. That's so cool. Durable quality wood postcards. Well, thank you. You'll see this at the end of the video, with all the postcards. We got some duct tape action over here. Another package. I think it's clothing. I gotta be careful opening these. Doesn't want to come out. Oh, there's two bags together. <laughs> Duh. There we go. What's going on in here? Who is this? What does it say, Carlos? Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State Buckeyes. <laughs> like scissors. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be funny. <laughs> Go Buckeyes! I can't move! <laughs> Might be a little bit too small for me, but thank you so much. Let's get into today's video. Pull this off. You don't know how to get undressed? <laughs> Pull this off. I'm stuck. Thank you. So I was about to throw away the bag that you sent in, the, the sweatshirt. And good thing uh, I reached in inside and there's a little message from you and a postcard. So thank you for the postcard. That's gonna go into the contest. But the message says, this OSU sweatshirt is for the guy who was wearing the OSU t-shirt who was fixing the snare drum. Ciao. So now I understand why you send this. Yes, Kevin is, I think, uh, a fan. So I'll definitely pass on the, the sweatshirt to Kevin. I'm not 100% sure if he's gonna fit it in, in it, but uh, very nice gesture. Thank you so much. Got it. Long blade on that. You, saw, you said it, you got it where? The small blade. Uh -huh. Goes on the right side as we're looking at it. The long blade. Goes no, no, I, I understand that. But you said you got the knife where? In Saigon. In Saigon. In some junk shop. Huh. Okay. And what's the story with this little guy? Uh Camp Pendleton, 1965. I bought it at a surf shop. Okay. On. Because uh, really, there is no dates or nothing nah. on it. Nothing is punched on the back, so nope. it's more kind of like a souvenir piece yeah. than anything else. Yeah. Just and, but this but this definitely has some history to it, right? I mean, it you, you carry it, you said. Mm-hmm. Right um, back here. And then it was a 45 and another 45. I mean, it's been quite substantially sharpened, <laughs> but but it's it's still all there. It's all original, you know? Mm-hmm. Sheet is still is in it, great shape. As many shape. As of the videos I've watched with you, you always seem to cool, like those. Cool piece, yeah, I do. And I do sell them because people like them, you know, the yeah, the K-Bar yeah. Star is always very popular. So, um, what do we got here? Lighters. More lighters, that's all I need right now, more lighters. Well, Did I'll you see how many I, I bought? Look, look at that, look at that whole box. Oh yeah, well, might be one or two in there you don't. That one has been around the block. Uh, this Zippo, the yeah. ride, you could tell that it, was it's a been, friend of mine. It's and, been uh, in somebody's pocket for ages. Yeah, it's carried a long time. Oh, somebody's name engraved, Dino. You That's know Dino? Me. That's you. Ah, look at that. That was mine in Vietnam. Was it? Are you yep. sure you want to I get rid of this stuff? Yeah, it's haunting me too much. Seriously? Yeah, this one I have. I keep under my mattress, and I don't want it anymore. Because wow. it creates bad Well, like dreams. I said, well, thank you very much for your service. Really appreciate that. But, you know, sometimes I, I ask that question because 
Some guys are really attached to their stuff from, mm. from back in the day like that. But if you're saying that it's really haunting you, maybe it is time to get rid of it. I have you know? plenty more. <laughs> that one at least looks like it was never put in a pocket. That one universally. I don't think so. I got that. American uh, Eagle. Yeah. I got that at a gas station in Westmont. Oh, man. That's been... For, uh, I think it was a Marlboro thing a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, still got the seal on yeah. the back, yeah. Of American Eagle, 200 University in the United yeah, States. I thought, uh, probably. You know, it looked good. Didn't say Harley on it. Not that I have anything against Harleys. Zippo American Eagle Lighter Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah, so... He collected Franklin Mint yeah. stuff. Yeah, Honolulu, 1978. Um, these are tough. There's so much out there on the market, so I I don't know if I would want this, but... Hey, it's okay. And I plus, don't, I don't know enough about stamps. I don't know what they're worth anyway. Yeah, some yeah. of the stamps are actually pretty crazy. Some of them will go from... But it's one out of a thousand that yeah. it's worth that kind of money. Rest of the stuff is, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah, you gotta have one of those stamp guys. What are they? Yeah, exactly. Philanth Philanthropist. What is that? That's. Uh, I mean, when it's I heavy. First got out of, yeah, that's steel. When I first got out of the Marines in '70, I went to work for a steel forgery. So this is. And just this a, was the droppings from the line. So just a just a blob of steel yep. that. That this is. one's fancier. <laughs> Ranchilo Specialty. I but don't know what Ranchilo It's designed is. for something. Yeah. I'm thinking... Paper. No, it's just it's, a paper weight. Keep all those hundred dollar bills laying on your desk. Because so I know they have similar stuff, but then you have a little hole right in the middle that you can press if your LP record is a little bit bowed. And you want to keep it straight, yeah. you would have a weight you like that. You that. can put it yeah. in the center. And heat up the it. record with the torch. Well, you can, <laughs> but just doing the playing time so you can straight it out a little yeah. bit, you know. Yeah. Um, you don't want to do it on a belt driven turntable, you want to no, do it on a direct drive a because out. otherwise yeah. the belt will go nuts. But Yeah, you need like a Bang & Olsen cable. What is this? A little tiny it's a cat gun. gun. It actually shoots those bullets. There's really? scotch tape on it. It's so, uh, back in the Yeah, I can see little tiny bullets the there. The Confederates. Uh, so it just goes pop, pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. I remember my mom had probably about three or four different sets of these. Mm. So cute. Yeah, that's that's business, that's business, and that's business, and these are cigarette lighters. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're not silver or anything. They're just no. not cases, but um, yeah, pretty cool. Little calculator. Ah, uh, it's a notepad too. So MJ, I will actually I will look up that card. I'm okay. not familiar with that card, but I'm gonna be honest. All the heroes and stuff. Yeah. It's not my cup of tea. I don't know enough about him. He do um, so I, I'm not gonna even try to make you an offer. Okay. With stuff like this, you gotta go to like a comic shop or, or Kameski. Yeah. The old one or the mm -hmm. current one? No, the old one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Boobs. Atlanta, Georgia, USA. You got the yeah. same boobs. <laughs> so. Uh, but unfortunately, look, nine dollars, not a whole lot of money here. But people like Coke. Again, just like the MJ card, not big money, five bucks, five bucks if you want, you know. You got it. Um, the Marine thing probably does have a date. Made in USA, Sis Siskiyou Buckle Company, never heard of it. I forgot. 1987. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sis, 97. Yeah, I was long out of Marines. I got out in 70. Out of Oregon. So, I picked it up somewhere. No. Yeah. Five bucks as well, if you're okay with that. Sure. This I have no idea. What do you think this is worth, this little cap gun? It's kind uh, of cute. I think I paid 19.95 for it long ago. 
70 Made cents. in Australia, actually. Yeah. yeah. It does work. I think those caps are hard to find, though. I would imagine. I would imagine that would be hard. They're mm. tiny. Yep. They're a little bitty. Ten bucks? Sure. Okay. Cheers. What do you want for all the lighters? What are you thinking on that? Uh, what do you think about uh, 45? Some of them are in great condition, new, and mm -hmm. some of them are like this, pretty used up. But they're used for a reason. I think <laughs> I'm okay. I think I'm okay with 45 bucks. I think that's fair. Okay. Um, you got the box too. I need the cigars now for the box. <laughs> no, you don't, want, you don't want those. You want Cohiba. So, all right, let me start writing this stuff down because I, before I screw it up. Mm. Okay, so here, come over here for a second. Let me show you something. So I get these quite often here and, and, and I always worry. See on the back of this picture, how this case is closed? Yeah. This is how it's supposed to be on an original Apple box. There should be shown open. On a second gen? On a second gen. So, <sighs> Apple, pros second okay. generation and they also came out with them in 2022 this is gives me a date 2023 i think i'm gonna say no on these yeah i'm sorry man so are they like they might be knockoffs I th i'm thinking they're knockoffs okay all right i'll take your word for it I mean... so um i'm sorry no worries no worries at okay. all i figured i'd yeah. just see you know no problem <laughs> thank you yep This, this. Um, interested in the this. Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance oh. with uh, that's with the games. Twenty one, twenty one bucks. Okay. Um, with Sorry, eighteen and twenty one. With all the games that you have here, um, mm -hmm. fifty bucks. That's what I can offer. I, got I like this, it. The system itself goes roughly for about fifty. I usually get. But I think out of the whole bundle, I can maybe get a hundred out of here with all the games that you got. Yeah. So I'm you cool make money, it. I make money. So if you're okay with fifty, I'll do fifty on yes. that. Yes, I'm good with that. You get to keep the boxes too. Okay, and then you brought this little guy. So yeah, is the, the kind of rough, but it was. Is it Daisy or? I don't know. Has no name. It is a daisy. It is a daisy. Got a name right here. No. Oh. Daisy. Look at that. Somebody scratched Does it still hold air? Do you yes. know? It does. It shoots. Is that a safety? No. No, that's just a saddle light. Ah, got to cock it first this okay. way. She shoots. Yeah. It's pretty accurate, too. In my basement, probably about 20 feet. I got four of them down there laying <laughs> in the case. Ah, that's fishing rod. Uh, yeah, I, that's old. Yeah, but a couple of them there that I got there too, they're old too. Okay. This is probably one from 70s, and the reason I say that because you have the Phillips screws already here. Oh yeah, okay. So it's a little bit newer, not as old, but still 50 years now, right? Yes. So 15 bucks right past. Got it. You are easy today. Hey. Marines never been here to make trouble. Only if you're shooting back at us. <laughs> I get it. I totally get it. So. I think that's it. Recovered. This, okay. Is How about this? Uh, these, these I make. This okay. is out of my shop. I sell them forty dollars out of my garage. What do you need out of them? So forty. It's... No, thirty. Hanging on the wall. Sell it for me. We'll split it. Well, then you're not gonna make any money if I give you. But I got, I got, policeman, EMT, red yeah. stripe. I got regular American. I got the. Uh, the uh, American flag with 13 stars. Did you bring more or just one here? Just this one okay. to show you. So let's do this. Let's me let me put it on a wall here. I'll put a little bit higher price on it. I'll put like 50. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it also note that this is made by you, by veteran, you know, and hopefully we'll get a little bit more and then, you know, I'll take my little commission and I'll give you the rest. Okay. Okay. And like I said, if anybody's looking for EMT with the red stripe. You have them too. 
I have one of those hanging okay. ready to go. Awesome. So I could build any one you want. Okay. All right, I do need your ID so I can write this up. Absolutely, Pete. Now, but let's see what we came up here so far. We got 195 bucks. How about that? That's cool. I like that. All right. Oh, it was given out in a blockbuster video. <laughs> yep. So as you guys seen it earlier in the video, I picked up this little tiny cap gun that came in this little box or whatever you want to call it, this little container. And me and Mike have been playing with this. Oh, this just fell off. This just came off. We're trying to figure out, we got some extra bullets in here. Well, bullets, the... The caps. The caps. And we were trying to figure this out, how to load this and, and get it going and fire. And we can't... I mean, there's a lot of engineering going on here. There is. Uh, I don't know if you guys can even see. I mean, this is so tiny. I haven't seen anything like this made at all. So this is open position right now. This is the barrel that I took it out, part of the barrel. These are the little, these are the caps that go in. But look, some of these caps have this thing on the side. Look at this one. Let's see. See it? Oh, it yep. has like a little... Like a little, you'd line it up or This is so tiny. We can't even pronounce the freaking name on this. <laughs> it's, uh, it's weird. It's like Santos or something. Uh, yeah, X starts with the X. And then it says, Zaitos. oh man, ya, Yaros, X-Y-T-H-O-S. And I search, I did a Google lens, I search on Google, I, I can't find anything on this. He said that this was from like mid 70s. Wow. So this I've is made in Austria, like made in Austria, uh, definitely <laughs> unique piece that, that well, it's well worth crafted. doing, worth doing more research. Uh, wonder if I just if we just broke this or not because this just came off. But it doesn't look like it's no. See, it it it, it holds it like that. So just I can't figure out if you do you load the barrel here, and I can tell now it has these notches on each side of the barrel, so it goes the right way. See, on the outside it has that notch for this right. little thing sticking out. Well, what's confusing is because it has that but opening and the one sticking out. Then yeah, how does it advance that barrel? Really doesn't fire anything. Yeah. Like it doesn't engage to anything yeah, or snap back because it, yeah. the spring will pop up the top. But this only is designed to open the barrel, right? Nothing else. It keeps it in place. I would love to hear it from you guys. If any of you ever had anything like this, or even point me to the right link on a video or something that we can go through this because I would love to fire this thing and actually <laughs> this is this is this is so freaking well, cool. Probably scare people off with that thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how oh, loud it is. Right? Yeah. Yeah and it's and, probably just like <laughs> and I, you know and this piece, what does this piece do? Is this just holds it in place so yeah. the barrel doesn't open? Yeah. Yeah I think, I think so exactly that screws on the bottom. Threaded. Yeah that's threaded. But or it's, maybe this it's, was. It's, it's really an awesome. Little hey, piece. maybe this goes from the bottom, and this is actually like a stand. But it doesn't screw to anything here. No. I'm boggled. This is this is this is <laughs> very interesting. And that spring has so to be this, squished in there, right? I, I think it has to hook to something. So I believe this this piece here goes down right into there. But this it has to grab something inside of there and, it's, you know. I mean, so. it looks like simple engineering, but at the same time, you know, with your sausage fingers, you can't get right. in there, right? Unless right. you take it all apart. Uh, what you offer? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is even worth. It's cool as hell. It, it is. You want to take it home, play with it, see if you can put it together, do some research yeah, and make I, me like, an offer? I, I don't know, Mike. I, and I know you I like stuff better. like this. It's very cool. Um, After you put it together, if anything, you're gonna have a little, really cool little gun that you probably never come that across I, again. I probably wouldn't even try and fire it, to be honest. It's yeah. just, but now I feel bad that the thing flung apart. Ruby, so. Ruby says it's yours. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, like 60 bucks? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what you have into it. I 
going to be honest with you. Do some research mm -hmm. and see if you can dig out anything out of it. My quick research that I did for a few minutes, I couldn't okay. come up with anything. Okay. So I just want to be fair. Maybe this is only like twenty-five dollar thing, or maybe okay. this is a hundred dollar thing. I have yeah. no idea. Okay. So you know right. what I mean? Right. Do research, take it with you, see if you can yeah. put it together. Um, and I have some some bigger magnifying glasses that maybe. I, yeah. I just I want to be able to take some pictures, so that if it comes yeah. apart like I think it could, or like you said, <laughs> I can get it back together. Let's find this company and yeah. let's ship it out to Austria. Let's right. service it. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure, it's gonna be cheap. Yeah, right. Bro, <laughs> it's like. 90 bucks to ship it and then they're like oh 90 bucks an hour it's gonna take us six hour, and a half hours right. to do this like, and, oh by the way you need a spring <laughs> yeah exactly it'd take them two minutes to do it but you still have to pay the hourly rate <laughs> so all right yeah we'll do that okay hey guys it's Otto here can i get a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm it will really really help us out so i see this one auctions. this one has a gsa Certificate. They all have certificates with them or no? I'm not 100% sure. These were left to me in a will, so. But I don't have. Unfortunately, I so don't. So if they have certificates, I'll definitely would be interested in them and I'll make you an offer on them like this one does. Okay. Because it's a big deal in. in in, on the sports market to have certificates with them. So, uh -huh. or at least like this one, see, has the bucket. It probably originally came like this has a sticker and the actual paper. I say they originally, I, they're all from Pristine Auction. I know okay. that much. So bucket, I can look this up with that number. Let's see if this My happens. grandfather was a uh, big Pristine Auction guy. As the, I can't part ways with the Walter Payton or the Barry Sanders ones they left me. Why not? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> those, those ones I know are worth a pretty penny, but I can't. Barry so Sanders is one, one of my favorite players of all time, and Walter Payton's the greatest one running back of all time. I can't get rid of either of those. So he actually has a receipt just for the jersey here with this one, but unfortunately this one does not have a certificate of authenticity to go with it. Uh, gotcha. It's a nice... Mitchell and Mass jersey um, that I can make you an offer on it still too but without basically just for the jersey not because it's autographed you know because that it's a big deal having yeah. these you know certified that they are you know legit so nine bucks 40 36 29 59 and just I like you were seeing a lot of the like when I had looked earlier see, a lot also of the G GSA you know Certificate. Yeah, I, I realized when I looked earlier, it looked like the green one was slightly more valuable. I have one of the navy ones at home too, yeah. signed. There are actually two of them. But look, at, here's a green 50. one, yeah. so for 50 bucks, you know. I mean, it's not exactly Tom Brady, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's the thing. Um, if I had a Tom Brady one, I would instantly sell it. But I, can't, <laughs> I can't stand Tom Brady. And that yeah, but, but still. But still, if it's signed, it brings crazy money. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like he um, is, he left me like seven big boxes filled with autographed jerseys, baseballs, signed mini helmets. Like we have a Jim Brown signed mini helmet. Oh, nice. With 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 balls, but the jerseys on all three of them, these two being signed. Um, this one I can offer you fifty bucks. This one was going roughly only around 50, so like 25 bucks, so 75. And same thing with this one, only like 25 bucks. So you'll be looking at 100 bucks here. I don't know if that's something that you're okay with. If not, I get it, but none of these are local teams or even at least like Green Bay Packer next door, yeah. that stuff that no, I, I can move fast. So it's totally your call, man. Whatever you wanna do, 50, 25, 25. You can decide whichever you want to sell or if you want to, you know, I mean. I think I'll probably just do sell the Olsen one. I think the Olsen one? The I, and I get it. All right. So I do need your ID. I'll write you up for this one. I actually have the thing with it. I it might be in my bag with it. You get any Jimmy McMahon stuff, sorry? Peter? Nothing lately. Nothing lately. That's Bo Jackson. Yeah. 
have the dog. Maybe he doesn't have the... Oh, wait. Okay. No, well, typical. some things will have a this sticker. Is just the yeah. So oh. you do have a sticker from PSA on the back here that can be verified. Um, usually it does also come with like a little... Yes, well, maybe this I one can. doesn't have it, but it's, I, can, I can go in online and verify by this number, you know, that it's legit. And like when I saw that one, I just just about lost. He has like oh, all the great is. running backs. Uh -huh. He has all the stuff for, and I'm like, that is pretty cool. That's that's my favorite. Like, there's a sign. I was just looking through the bin of jerseys not too long ago. He's got a Gary Finnick signed jersey. He's got whoever Who's number forty Finnick from? Uh, safety for the Bears in '85 no, when they won it. Fensick. I, yeah. I'm not going. Well, no, I just telling got, you because like, and then some... whoever number forty six on that team was. He's Doug got Plank. that one. Yeah, he's got that one signed. Um, uh, there's a uh, Calvin Ridley in there. There's I'm trying to think of some of the there were a lot in there. The only reason I didn't know, I couldn't tell if this might have been game worn or not was because of like the no, it's spot not game right worn. Here. I didn't know if that was just like a spot that's normally there or if it was no. I mean, it's official by Riddle. It's an NFL official, but it's not not game worn helmet gotcha. in any way. It does actually have a date on it. Three six. 2012. So look, um, obviously, if it's if it's Raiders helmet, yeah, it's gonna bring a lot more around. money, right? But anything look at, Raiders or Royals yeah. for him. So look at this one, sold for 270. Yeah. Even the Raiders, some of it, it will not go as much. But look at this one, only 99. Um, here's another one, 281. And this is actually the same, uh, it's got the same, no, that one, it's got, no, it doesn't have that, whatever he's got. This can, I, can I take a look at this? Yeah, go for so it. this is Andre Dawson's sign. And what's it worth? I have no idea. Are Not big money on that. I don't know how you open these without getting the... I think it's easier to open it from the bottom. The bottom. The bottom oh. part was open. Oh. So Andre Dawson? Mm-hmm. He were too young but the year he left the Expos and came to the Cubs. And I wouldn't have really followed it much anyway because well, I was never a big Cubs was, guy. They were like debating, you know, do we have room? Are we going to sign him? And he stood outside and he's the fence and he said, I'll play for the Cubs for a dollar. <laughs> what I, I, what I want is I want, I want yeah. a Jordan White Sox jersey and a Bo Jackson White Sox yeah. jersey. Those are the two that, I'm, that I've been looking crazy for. Crazy money. Crazy. Crazy money. So listen, on on the helmet, on average, is bringing between two fifty to three hundred bucks, like two eighty, two seventy nine, two ninety. Yeah. I would be about half of that, so about buck fifty. That's the yeah. Highest. I'd probably hold on to so that. So for one. that kind of money, maybe hold off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's one uh, that I'll probably put in a case and put up on my wall. So. But thanks for bringing in and showing to me. It's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I love all the sports memorabilia stuff, but I think he's he probably spent over fifty thousand dollars on sports memorabilia. I've got seven full bins I have to go through. Really? Yeah. Tell me what you think of this. So, uh, you know, Palm Stars out in Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. This lady brings in this black widow brooch, you know, that goes on here. Okay. Can you help, sir? Yeah. Kevin, can you help? Yes. Yeah. Just two bucks. And she, he says, how much you're looking for? She says, 2000 He goes, I got a conscience. He says, I'm going to give you 15000 for it, right? Mm -hmm. She's freaking out. You know, she didn't know what it was worth. So the guy's being honest, right? He's going to give her fifteen. Yeah, Rick she always does yeah. that. He and then she looks right it. at him and goes, can you do seventeen? Yeah, but isn't that crazy? And but, he, but listen, listen, listen. It's all nice and dandy. It is TV show. It is Hollywood, okay? They want to make it a little bit dramatic. Um, so listen, I back in, this is nine, ten years now. Ten years, 2014. I was going to sell a jersey to them, Walter Payton jersey. Okay. Everything is kind of prearranged and set in stone, what we agreed on before. And then you just kind of act it out. Um, so, but it's Hollywood. They got to make it a little bit dramatic. Really yeah, so... Yeah. It's. It I knew a guy. Is, you know? I met a guy who did two reality shows. He was like a. Uh, he he did the camera work and he 
was some production work and kind of a you know pr a producer type thing and he was telling me all about it. He was doing storage wars and he was doing something else. Oh, you ought to grab there and for says, the jersey. He says seventy five percent of that it's all bullshit, you know. Well, you know but they I have mean, to make a show. They have to they make gotta something make a show. They gotta make something that somebody's gonna See? watch. Yeah. Here here when I, you know, do my stuff for the video. By the way, say hi to everybody. <laughs> um twenty, forty, fifty. Everything is real here. There's no, you know, no setup. Well, don't call an expert. Don't do this. Two that. years ago, I'm, I'm uh, delivering parts in Lake Zurich. Oh, I, I go into the Midas shop and they go, hey, we saw you on TV on the internet at the t trading post. I said, no shit. And, uh, I mean, I like to show off like cool, interesting things. Like, this is very cool. Like the helmet that you brought in, even though that we didn't make a deal. It's fun and interesting item to see. Oh, you know what I mean? So gorgeous. This it's, thing is so that is artwork, man. That is. Artwork. All right, my friend. Appreciate you. If you change your mind, you know I'm here. Thank you very okay? much. Okay. Take care. So this is a Greg Olson jersey that you just uh, saw me pick up from from that guy, and I didn't buy the other two jerseys, but this one has a buck a Beckett uh, certificate sticker on the bottom that I checked out, and everything checks out. The signature is on the back. This is extra large, but I'm gonna tell you. I wear extra large. Look how big this looks on me. So I, I think this is like a double X. I know he was a Chicago beer player when he first started in the league for a couple of years. And then he went to Carolina and played most of his season in Carolina. So I'm not gonna keep it here in the shop because he's mainly known as a North Carolina player. So auction starting at $1, craigslisthunter.net. If you are a fan of uh, Greg Olson, Go ahead and uh, pick this one up. Very clean with certificate. And since we are on the subject of craigslisthunter.net, I always still get asked, where can I pick up Craigslist Hunter t-shirts? Hanya and Ruby especially. Uh, this is the most popular t-shirt. So craigslisthunter.net is where you find all the designs from me. Uh, Hanya and Ruby, and then we got the classic single logo on top, Craigslist Hunter, and the newest design, the blue t-shirt, my favorite right now, with the white uh, design of honey and ruby on top here, very nice color. Uh, CraigslistHunter.net, that's where you find them. They're $20, uh, lots of different sizes available. So if you are interested, grab one for yourself. All right, guys, postcard time. 801, 802, 803, 804, 805, 806, 807, 808, 809, and finally the one from the beginning of the video, 810, and I think it should go like this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.